All right, this is Whitney and Gunner at the TLC clinic, and I'm going to let it go through regular and then do a slow play review. I really like Gunner Whitney, and um, when you get his basics more solid, where he can pick up his right lead as well as he can pick up his left lead, um, and can do loping circles left and right in spirals, and also figure eights, uh, inline barrels, things like that, then he'll be ready to lope the pattern more consistently. He's definitely stiff and sticky, so you'll want to go ahead and get him um, freed up a little bit more and more fluid and softer, more supple. So I would like to see you continue on with that. I really respected the fact that you didn't want to lope the barrels on him in your final run since he wasn't picking up his right lead correctly. I think it's great that you're going to go back to basics with him and then add speed to the barrels when he's ready. But you rode him really pretty. He wanted to canter, but you can see he wanted to pick up that left lead as well. Um, I like your approach going into the barrel. As you add more speed, he might need to be over just maybe 12, 12 more inches. Um, and then your pocket going into the barrel. Because see right there, what happens is if you're here and he's coming with a lot of speed, you'll go top side. Where if you come in with a little bit more arc, you can end up with just a three foot pocket there. Um, if that makes any sense to you. Because now watch when you turn. You've got his pivot foot under him nice, but notice where he was in the turn. He was more out by the cone out there and that's a good six, seven feet from the barrel. So when you start going faster, give him a little more arc so you can get to a three foot pocket going in and on the back side and on the exit. Okay, so um, just so watch your position even in your slow work. Um, I like your use of your hands and legs. They're really nice. Uh, you have a good seat and you have soft hands. He uses the correct lead there. Um, I like that as you're approaching, you're two strides from the barrel and you're sitting in your saddle to help him understand to collect his stride. Um, you go to the horn when your leg gets to the barrel was great. You're guiding him with your inside hand. That was really nice as well. Um, you're tapping him with that outside leg to help him come around. So he takes those two strides around the barrel, but he kind of stalls out as you can see there. So what you can start doing is letting him come in easy one, two, he ended up taking three strides around the barrel just because he actually is going kind of slow in, so he's kind of lazy coming around, so it doesn't really bend in the rib to have only two strides around the barrel, he ends up taking three. Once he builds his speed, it'll be, and gets more bend in the rib and shoulder, it'll be easier for him. Now, you'll want to keep your line straighter from second to third, but, you know, he's just a young horse, and, um, learning. So let me back this up and show you where he rated. There's your first stride of eight, second stride of eight, first stride of turn, and second stride of turn. Third barrel was really nice. Um, again, you can see he hesitates coming out, so he just needs to be taught. It's easy in, hurry out, and it's just because he's young and learning. He doesn't quite know it's a timed event yet, but I really like him, and once you get his basics more solid, get more um, fluidity and flexion in him. He's going to be a really nice horse. Thanks for coming and you rode him really well.